In this video, I am going to show you how to set up site to site VPN between TP Link ER605 router. For this purpose, here I am using ER605 hardware version 1 and hardware version 2. For VPN, we require both location public IPs. Here I am having both location static public IPs for connecting the VPN. Here I am using the different hardware version. So we need to use the same protocol between two locations to establishing the connectivity and protocol handshaking. If you are watching first time my channel, please subscribe. Here I am showing first router configuration. For this purpose, we need to find the public IP. Here I am using web browser. Then we can enter show my IP. Here we will get our public IP. I am taking both location public IP for the configuration. On the top, you can identify which is the router I am working. After getting the IP address, I am going to add VPN. For this purpose, after login the router, we need to select VPN. Then here you are able to see the IPsec. Here I am pressing add button. Then enter the policy name. It means a name to identify the tunnel. Then select the tunnel mode or VPN type. Then select the mode. Here we are using LAN to LAN. That means side to side. VPN we are making. So I am just selecting the LAN to LAN mode. A remote gateway. Remote gateway means which is IP using in other location. That means other location public IP address. This is multi WAN router. Here we need to select the WAN port which one we are using for VPN connectivity. Here I have configured only one WAN. So I am selecting the WAN. If you are configured multiple WAN, you will get multiple WAN interfaces. Then select the local network type. Here I am using network. Instead of network, we can use the custom IP range. Then select the local LAN subnet. LAN is our local LAN subnet. Then enter the remote subnet, which is a remote location. Our second location IP address subnet range. Set the network subnet of remote location. Remote network with subnet mask. Then enter the pre shared key. This key we need to use other location. This is the key we are using to establish the connection between two locations. So if the key is wrong, we are unable to establish the tunnel between two locations. Then make sure the status is enabled. Here we are using different version of hardware. So I am using the advanced settings for customizing the protocol. Then press the advanced settings. I am just configuring the settings manually. In phase 1 settings, here I am using iKey version 1 and I am also using single proposal. Rest all proposal I am disabling. Phase 2 settings, we need to select tunnel mode and then selecting only the first proposal. Rest all I am disabling. Also make sure our SA lifetime will be same range in both routers. Here I am leaving the PFS preferred security. I am leaving as none. The same settings we need to do in the second router. I am repeating the configuration in router 2. Here we need to use the public IP as first router location public IP. Local subnet is we need to manually enter. We need to select the WAN. Also we need to enter the remote subnet which is using that means the router IP range, LAN IP range in the remote location. The first router LAN IP range we need to enter. Then we need to use the same proposal and configuration in both location in advanced settings. Once after we are able to see the tunnel has been established. We can see in the both routers our tunnel is established and we are able to access the other routers and other network from the primary location. So after establishing the VPN, we are able to communicate with both network like a local network. So we could establish the VPN connectivity in both location. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.